All right, so today I want to show you how to target specific eye colors in your ball python hatchlings based on the genes that you use when you're breeding your ball pythons. And it's a pretty interesting effect that certain genes can affect the eye color of the ball python. And as far as the accuracy of using that technique to pick out the genes, I'd say it's probably about as accurate as using head stamps. And if you're familiar with head stamps, uh, specifically the spot nose has a really strong pattern on top of the head. And I can actually look at some spot nose combinations and sometimes just looking at the pattern on the head of the snake I can pick out one sometimes two or three different genes in the spot nose combination and as far as the accuracy of picking it out sometimes it's really obvious as far as what genes are in there based on the head pattern and sometimes I've actually seen where you can have two spot nose combinations with the same exact genes one of them has a really recognizable head stamp and the other one doesn't it's not a hundred percent accurate and I say it's kind of the same with the eye color in ball pythons. So today I want to jump over the internet and I want to show you how you can identify genes in your ball pythons based on the color of the eyes. All right, so I want to jump over here on MorphMarket.com, and I want to start with this snake right here. This is an albino ball python, and the albino has really bright red eyes. And the thing that I find fascinating about the eye colors in ball pythons is there's actually an order of visual dominance when it comes to the eye color, similar to the visual dominance that you'd see in the body color of the snake for certain genes in ball pythons. So for example, if you actually take an albino, which is a yellow and white snake, and you work pretty much any other gene into the albino you'll pretty much end up with a yellow and white snake sometimes you can actually jumble up the pattern but the albino is so visually dominant as far as the the color of the snake that it really dominates all the other colors of all the other genes and it's similar with the eye color and kind of the curious thing I actually found about this is the eye color of the albino is also visually dominant over all the other eye colors associated with all the other genes so you can take all the other genes, any gene that changes the eye color of the ball python, work it into the albino, and you always get bright red eyes, which is pretty fascinating. So take a look at this. I actually took an extreme example of an albino, and I mixed it in with a super black pastel, which is a completely patternless black snake, about the most extreme you can actually work into the albino. And kind of the weird thing is it changes it into a white snake, and you can definitely tell by looking at the eye that it didn't change the eyes at all. It really changed the appearance of the albino as far as pretty much the most extreme you can get as far as the appearance, but it didn't change the eyes. You pretty much are always left with bright red eyes as far as what you see for the eye color for the albino. So if you actually walk up to a snake anywhere and you see a bright red eye on your snake, you can pretty much be guaranteed that it's actually an albino in the mix. And kind of the weird thing about this is I picked up, uh, I pulled up this picture of a het albino. So keep in mind the albino is a recessive mutation. You need two copies of the albino gene for visual. And if you just have one copy of the albino, you don't get the red eyes. As a matter of fact, you actually get kind of a black eye. This is like what you'd see in most of your normal ball pythons. A lot of times it's just a solid black eye that has no color or pattern in it at all. So here's another one you may be familiar with. This is pretty much the number one recognized eye color in ball pythons, and that is the green eyes of the pastel. And sometimes they can be really super bright green. And as far as visual dominance, I've actually seen the pastel to be kind of in the middle as far as the visual dominance. Sometimes they, you can actually add other genes to the pastel to completely eliminate the genes, but a lot of times you'll actually keep the green eyes in a lot of your combinations. So I actually pulled this snake up over here take a look at this this one's actually the pastel lesser leopard this one's het monsoon possible head albino the heads you really can't see but out of these three genes the pastel lesser and leopard if you're wondering if there's pastel in this combination well of course the yellow color kind of gives it away that there's there might be pastel in there but if you actually take a look at the eyes you can definitely see this one has pretty bright green eyes you can definitely tell that pastel is in the mix in this combination and there's other genes that'll actually trump the pastel and one of them is take a look at this the pastel bamboo and this is one of the problems I ran into when I started breeding Bobby the snake that I have around my neck at the beginning and the end of the video that is a bamboo and my very first year with the bamboo I was breeding it into pastels 
and lemon blasts that contain the pastel and I produced bamboos and pastel bamboos and kind of the curious thing about the bamboos is most of the times they'll have like a steel gray eye and a lot of times that steel gray color will be kind of right on the top part of the eye and the bottom of the eye will be completely black. And I actually produced a whole clutch of ball python hatchlings. You know, some of them were pastel bamboos, some of them were just regular bamboos. And let me tell you, for the life of me, I could not tell the difference between the pastel bamboos and the bamboos. But for a while, I was actually taking a light and kind of shining it in the eyes, hoping I'd actually see a green color from the pastel. And it seems like, from what I've seen, that the the kind of the steel gray eye of the bamboo trumps the, the visual dominance of the green green eye of the pastels. And one way you can actually tell that there's pastel in your bamboo, if you put them side by side, sometimes you'll see that the head of your bamboo is a little bit darker than when you add pastel. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But in a lot of times you'll actually have to wait until they age and mature a little bit. Usually once they get a little bit of weight on them, they really start fading out a little bit and the yellow color really comes in pretty strong in the pastel bamboos when they age and mature. So sometimes you have to just wait a little bit for your, for your pastel pastel bamboos to mature to figure out if it actually has pastel in the mix. Here's another one that I thought was pretty interesting. I actually produced some coral glows. It's pretty, the coral glow is pretty much the same as the banana. So this banana has pastel in it as well. But the problem is, is the coral glows and bananas have a really jet black eye. And a lot of times it'll completely dominate all the other, you know, all the other genes as far as the eye color of your combinations. As a matter of fact, this year I actually produced some coral glows and coral glow pastels. And all the, I couldn't tell the difference between I was just putting on all my coral glows. I said, this is a coral glow possible pastel because for the life of me, I couldn't figure out if there was pastels in my coral glow. Sometimes, you know, sometimes they'll be a little bit faded out. Sometimes you'll see the pattern is a little bit more jumbled up. Sometimes you'll actually see a little bit lighter top of the head in some of your combinations, but I wasn't 100% sure. So the ones that I thought maybe it had pastel in there, I was listing them as possible pastels. And kind of the weird thing about this is I actually just went over to my rack and I pulled out out my banana inchy clown so it has different genes in with the banana and to my surprise it didn't have a solid black eye it had kind of a steel gray eye which I thought was pretty interesting and let me tell you I am no expert on the eye color as far as all the genes in ball pythons I was just picking out a few here that I've known about and some of the ones that I've heard about but let me tell you you could spend a lot of time trying to figure out all the different eye colors for all the different genes and the visual dominance as far as which one can dominate another one. So here is a blue eye. You can actually make some really bright blue eyes, especially when you're working with the blue-eyed leucistic combinations. So there's a whole bunch of genes in the blue-eyed leucistic complex. There is the bamboo, the russo, the mojave, the mocha, the mystic, the phantom, all those genes in the blue-eyed leucistic. If you have two genes and one snake, most of the times you'll end up with a snake that has really bright blue eyes. And I found that pretty much the brightest blue eyes that I've seen in any blue-eyed leucistic is the super russo also known as the white diamond it seems like for whatever reason it seems like this combination can have some really super i've actually seen some that are even brighter than this really super crazy bright so this is a pretty interesting combination. Check this out. This is actually a pastel lesser pied. And I actually have a lesser pied here in my collection. And kind of the weird thing about the lesser pied, so the pied is a recessive mutation. Usually you have big splotches of white on your snake. And when you add lesser to a pie, just one copy of the lesser, you'll actually get an all white snake every single time. It completely eliminates all the color. And kind of the curious thing I found about almost all the lesser pies that I've seen they actually have blue eyes. It almost looks like a blue-eyed leucistic, although a true blue-eyed leucistic would have two copies of the genes in the blue-eyed leucistic complex. So technically, it's not a blue-eyed leucistic, even though it's an all-white snake with blue eyes. And the other thing I found interesting about this specific snake is it actually has pastel in the mix. So you actually take pastel, which is known for green eyes, work it into a kind of a pseudo blue-eyed leucistic, and the blue eyes dominate the color of the eyes over the pastel which I thought was pretty amazing. 
So here is the Mojave ball python. I've heard a lot of people say, hey, my Mojave actually has steel gray eyes, almost like a silver colored eye, similar to what you'd see in a bamboo. And sure enough, I was actually looking over here over a morph mark and it seemed like most of the Mojaves over here had a steel gray eye, which is pretty fascinating. And keep in mind, the Mojave is actually in the blue eyed leucistic complex. So if you take a Mojave and you breed it to a bamboo, you'll actually get an all white snake with blue blue eyes, it'll convert the steel gray eyes into a blue eye. So I thought this was pretty interesting too. This is the combination of the Mojave and the Pastel, which is called a Pastavi. And this one actually has the steel gray eyes from the Mojave, which seems like it trumps the green eyes of the Pastel in this combination, which I thought was pretty fascinating. So actually, I wanted to show you one more over here. Take a look at this. So you can actually take the Mojave Pastel, which those two genes together actually have the steel gray eyes, the, the steel gray of the Mojave dominates the green eyes of the pastel, but I've actually seen a lot of people that say, hey, when you add spider to the Mojave pastel, it flips the visual dominance from the Mojave over to the pastel, and a lot of times it even intensifies the green eyes of the pastel, and you get these really super bright green eyes. I don't know if you can see that, but these things are just glowing bright green. It's pretty amazing. And for some reason, when you work spider into the pastel Mojave, or even just have the spider and the pastel together in one snake, which is the bumblebee. A lot of bumblebees have really super bright green eyes. And I actually was going through my rack and I was kind of looking at all my different snakes as far as the eye color. And the other one that was kind of interesting is I pulled out my pinstripe female. If you actually saw that in my live stream, her name is Bubbles. She's probably, uh, probably more friendly than Bobby. She's a really super big, super friendly pinstripe. And sure enough, I was actually looking at her eyes and her eyes are gold like a bright gold color and you know I absolutely love the pinstripes because of the gold color and let me tell you that gold color transforms transfers into the eyes of the snake and then what I did is I actually looked over at my other snake that was a combination of my bamboo pinstripe so the bamboo has steel gray eyes the pinstripe has gold eyes and the combination of those two the bamboo one out and that combination actually has steel gray eyes all right, so what is time for the question of the day? And Hamza Tahir asks, is there any way you can make an all black ball python with red eyes? And that is a very good question. So the only way that I know of to make an all black ball python is to use something like super black pastel or super cinnamon, both of which are completely black patternless ball python. And if you actually take one of those and you work it into albino, you get an interesting effect of taking albino and turning it completely white. You end up with an all white snake with the red eyes. And I actually did a video I think it was called how to increase the amount of white in your albino ball python and how to increase the amount of white you actually can use any of the dark genes you can use mahogany cinnamon black pastel or chocolate or combination of those and has this interesting effect of increasing the amount of white and reducing the amount of yellow you can make some pretty amazing snakes but as far as taking something that you know, has a black color and working it into the albino to get a black snake with the red eyes I don't think it's as far as I know, it's pretty much impossible. So that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.